Hi, welcome to this question right here. So we're trying to estimate what is root 66, okay, manually, not without the calculator, right? So the work is actually pretty simple. You draw yourself a number line and you make yourself two lines right here to represent two numbers. Now, these two numbers here is gonna be enclosing the 66, but they have to be perfect square numbers. For example, 64 is why I could, that's the first number that come to me because 66 is greater than 64, right? And 64 turns out to be an a square, which is a perfect square number, okay? So I know the root 66 is definitely greater than eight, but eight point something something, which I don't know yet. Then this number over here is gonna be, after eight, there's a nine, nine times nine is 81, so this is 81 right here, okay? So I know this root 66 is definitely between eight and the nine, okay? But where is it? Well, we can actually calculate it approximately, estimation. Take the 81 right here and subtract to 64. There's 17 units across from 64 to 81. 17, so I'm not gonna do all, all of them though. I'm just gonna cut in half. So this will be 8.5, okay? And if, if there's 17 units, that means if I divide by two, I get 8.5 units. So 64 plus 8.5, I got myself, this is actually my 72.5 on the number line, but in terms of the square root of this number, let me put the square numbers on these guys right here, it will be 8.5, just perfectly halfway, okay? Now, the 66 is actually between these two guys right here, but are they closer to the half or are they closer to the eight? Well, if I just take my 72.5 over here and subtract 64, I have 8.5 units. So this one's actually not that bad. I can actually do 8.5. .8 then I go, that's halfway. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half, maybe. This is an approximation, so don't be too serious about these guys. Approximately 8.5 units, okay? Then I think, okay, every unit is a one now. So that's 66, right? This is 64, 65, 66 is right here. This is my 66, okay? So that's root 64, root 65, root 66. So as you can see, it's very, very close to my eight. See, this is eight right here, this is 8.5. So if you just quickly do a quick approximation, it will be 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, and 8.4. So if I just quickly draw lines, approximately, because I, don't, I didn't really do a good scale on these guys, if you have like a grid paper, it probably much easier. This is eight, right? Then this is like 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, 8.4, 8.5. So it looks like I'm just a little bit on the 8.1 something. So I'm gonna do approximation 8.1. That's pretty much it, 8.10. That's all I'm gonna put down. Approximately estimated is gonna be my 8.10, okay? Now, if I punch in the calculator, uh, radical of 66, then I got myself, ooh, I'm pretty close actually. It's gonna be 8.12, okay? But once again, I don't have a good scales right here. If you draw them perfectly with the equal distance, figure out the units perfectly, you will get a better approximation than this, okay? But that's the work. And once again, find your perfect square numbers that will enclose that number 66, and then just draw, figure out how many units between them, figure out how many units between them, and then just slowly figure out where your location is and just do the approximation, okay? Thanks for watching.